Hello everybody, what is up? Of course, my name is Mason, and welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 Let's Play video. And when I loaded up the game, I was greeted by something say, Hey, new additional content available. Come take a look. So, not only do we have an alternate appearance for Johnny Silverhand, uh, who is a character we will meet later in the series, which... Jeez Louise, that is freaking loud. Okay, let's turn that down. Okay, wow. I'm gonna skip the crap out of me. Anyways, um, these new jackets, which can be found in the stash, uh, in V's apartment, and the Archer Quartz Bandit. This, the limited edition Quartz Bandits got, a uh, Quartz Bandits got all you'd expect from an automotive icon. Classic soul, Nova style, and enough horsepower to leave all those other gonks chomping at on your dust. You know the type of ride to make the rules of the road seem like, more like silly suggestions. Want to take her for a spin? Help, um, Pan Am and Rocky Ridge, then wait a few days for your fixer uh, to whip you the deets, nad the bandit after finishing the ghost town job. Uh, I actually don't know what the ghost town job is, but this stuff's pretty cool. I really hope that this is not the DLC, st the free DLC that we've been promised, because uh, I'm hoping this free DLC is gonna be like the Witcher DLC, uh, Heart of Stone and Blood and Wine, you know, where it's going to add more to the game. Whether it's a new area, I would really like one of the DLCs to uh, be a little bit of backstory. Uh, because if you guys remember in the first episode, V was talking about how he went to, I can't remember where, and said that he couldn't find what he was looking for. It would be really awesome if we got another open world city, because that's what the Blood and Wine expansion did in... The Witcher. No, I have not played it. I've seen the trailers, though. The trailers make it look really good. I can't wait to finish the main story and then start the expansion packs. Anyways, just figured I'd show you all this. Um, so if you have Cyberpunk 2077, go ahead and check this out and make sure you have all this stuff installed. Uh, I did not install any of this. It just came installed, but double check to make sure. Because uh, I have the Cyberpunk 2077 Xbox One X. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But anyways, where we last left off, we did our first job. Um, we rescued that. Uh, hey everyone, feels great to have you uh, We rescued that okay. one person that, that was in that one place. Apparently, the corpse figured it was a safe and Japanese waters. Afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. Okay. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Blue Tech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Oh, man, that's, that is insensitive. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? President Myers, I mean, of course. <laughs> Gotta respect the office. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, anyways, if she's done talking, I can talk. Anyways, um, if you want a full thing on what happened, go check out the, the last episode, because I recorded that episode freaking forever ago, and as of recording this video, the second episode hasn't even aired yet. I'm trying to post as many videos, or trying to record as many videos as possible before you know, Sunday, so that way I can actually, you know, sleep and do other things and enjoy my day off. Anyways, let's press B to continue, and, uh, let's continue. Alright, so, real quick, uh, let's go check the stash. Uh, I gotta see if this is true. Uh, open stash, um... Da, 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 da. Type? No. What the hey? Um. Uh. 
Oh, did I not equip this stuff yet? Uh, let's do that real quick. Oh, and I also forgot we leveled up. That's right. Okay. Um, 5.9. Did I already? Oh, crap. Um, oh, inventory. Uh, and then head. 3.1. 3.1. Body. We got the biker jacket. Ooh, that kind of looks pretty cool. Um, of course, we can add more weapons. No, we cannot. Um, anyways, let's level up our character real quick. Um, so we've got all. Of, so we've got attribute points and we've got perk points. The difference between the two is attribute points increase these things right here the blue whereas the perks will obviously increase your well perks um so reflexes and assault uh so increases your passive evasion increases crit chance handgun Handguns, assault. Well, we were using the handguns. High noon increases crit chance with pistols and revolvers by 4%. Gunslinger reduces reload times for pistols and revolvers by 10%. Let's go ahead and acquire that. And then, uh, then for our attribute points, we will up reflexes. All right, now we got that stuff out of the way. It's time to go meet with Jackie, where we last left off. Uh, v wasn't feeling all that great because uh, of a possible neurovirus. So now we got to go meet up with uh, the Ripper Doc. Can't remember his name. Uh, and go fix it. So let's go do that. Oop. Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Uh, later? Okay. Hey, yo, V. Hey, V, Regina. Hey, Regina. Or, hey, V, Regina Jones here. Heard you've... Heard you're looking for work in Watson. Just so happens that I'm one of its main employers. If you don't want to waste those talents of yours, check the gigs I send to you. Do some work, and there's more where that came from. I'll be in touch. Okay, who said that? How you like my new punch bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. So how about it? Yeah, sure, why not? Wow. <laughs> I did not know that that was a dialogue option. Um, Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Fist fights. Your fists can be dangerous weapons. In fist fights, you can use them to both strike your enemies and block their attacks. I kept on thinking it was X. I'm used to Witcher controls. Like I said, good 
fast. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pipe. Manage to drop every last one of them. You get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Crystal. Wow. Good. <laughs> so, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. Start. I believe in you, Pete. Time to show this city what you made of. Okay. That was nice and all. Gotta go. New job. Beat on the brat. Kabuki. Okay, where's it? Oh, there it is. Hugh elevator music, am I right? Man, can these elevators move any slower? Okay, um, NP NCPD scanner hustles. The NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. The little question marks are gigs. Uh, fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. And the little handshake little thing are fixers. These intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Okay, cool. Alright now, oh, where's Jackie? Oh, oh, okay. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Seymour Vector. Vector, that was his name. Something about a surprise yesterday. I remember it right, or just had a great fun. Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens. See, that's really cool. I like how based on your, uh, I like how based on your background, you unlock certain dialogue options. I think that's really cool. Um, might come in useful. Like if I run into like someone, like a kid on the streets and whatnot, who's causing some trouble, I might be able to reason with him. I do not know if this is an actual quest. So if it actually does happen, please don't come at me. Um, I have barely gotten far in the story. Um, I did get to meet um, Johnny Silverhand, but uh, it has been so long since I've done that. Then I restarted and haven't even gotten close to that point because I decided to go on a good boy spree and uh, do some of the NP NCPD scanner stuff. So, never really got that far. And it's been a while. I don't re really remember a lot of what happens. So, yeah. Anyways, excuse me. Back to the game. Nobody who can resist this, am I right? <laughs> yeah, 
sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? Are we meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Well, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is right behind you. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Macaco, but Dex. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gone to do the job, and then drop the corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head. Bunch of wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to spill over the dents after our uh, dust on the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Vehicle is calling. You can now call your active vehicle to your current location with D pad left. Top notch work, Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's go. Let's feel this factory. Okay, that is, I like this car. I, I have always liked this car. This car is amazing. Accelerate with right trigger steel with the left stick right with the... Ripper duck. And Holmes, you see on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. The end is You don't say. It's so Oh, yeah. Oh. Damn, it's been a while since I've driven. Oh, yeah, real quick. Uh, Only reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to get copyright uh, infringement stuff. Um, I was actually thinking. Let me know in the comments section down below. Um, I do kind of mess around with GarageBand a little bit. So, if you guys, whenever I'm like driving around in the car in any sort of vehicle for that matter, if you would like some cool cyberpunk-esque style music in the background, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will definitely get on top of that. Anyways, let's get back to the game. While exploring Night City and the surrounding area, you may come across valuable containers with loot. Oh, come on. Let's uh, let's go meet with the Ripper Doc. Damn, Jackie, you have got a really good taste in women. I'm not being sarcastic either. Like, you got a really damn good taste of women. Anyways. Ripper Doc. Uh, though a common practice, cyberware it, uh, installation is still a dangerous and invasive procedure, which can only be uh, performed by qualified specialists. Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Oh wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kid caboodle. All right, kid. We'll sort you out in a flash. 
As I said, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Oh, dang. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. I love how they give the option to do it. Crying, I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Koroshi Optics. Best I've got. It should be about right under this. Now check in. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organ parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although common practice in 2077, the installation of cyber uh, cyberware is still invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Uh, only specialists known as Ripper Docs are trusted to install cyberware safely. So we'll go ahead and pick the Kuroshi Fiber Optics. Confirm. Looted cyberware. Cyberware you acquire in the world can be installed or sold at any Ripper Doc clinic. Cool. All right. Hands. Um, ballistic. Co uh, that word. Uh, co-processor. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Mark one, like I said. These are enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Showing on the tops of built-in external lens disruptor. Hmm. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech too. Hmm. Ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Yes, let us do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Yep, uh... Feel anything? Same as always. I don't feel a thing. He asks me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? Just the doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Better than ever. Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. 
Scanning people. Scanning people with your optical cyberware can provide you with a lot of useful information such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, or what type of weapon they use. As a skilled net runner, you can see a list of quick hats which you can use on your enemies. Hold left bumper to use your scanner. actually kind of cool database of wanted persons a database of individuals with bounty bounties assigned to them is now available to use you can identify these wanted persons with your scanner since all are wanted dead or alive the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you that is that is awesome all right so uh let us continue Ammo count in a brand new site. Ooh, I like that. You like it. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say so you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. Thanks again. Agreed. Agreed. That's the thing. When I make it as a uh, oh, message from Jackie. What's taking so long? Move your ass, S.A. Dex is waiting on us. That's the thing. When I become like a big YouTuber and get like, a, excuse me, a bunch of subscribers and whatnot, I know where I came from. So, let us... Uh, Get on over to impatient freaking. Excuse me. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields. And a... I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Hey, and... yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. Okay. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Alright, let us go ahead. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Incapacitating enemies. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combat uh, gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Cool. Alright. Um... Go on, hang it up. Whoop. All right, there it is. Oh, no, that's not him. That's a police car. <laughs> Breaking into vehicles, you can bypass the locks of parked vehicles if you meet the technical ability attribute. Ah, man, that'd be cool. 
Uh, might raise some hell in Night City. I don't know yet. What I do know is that there's a lot of combat going on. I really hope I'm not in the... Whoa! Okay. Oh. Hey there. How they remember you, that's all that counts. It's first place and no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from the eager supple you. Respect. Nice. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this. Prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guess it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Oh boy. Surely that's no problem. Wrong button, sorry. The courts don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. Work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs to act to resolve it with that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolved with the Maelstrom? Got a beef. Slot of shot. All right, let's, uh, let's see what's in here. We've got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know maelstroms involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead of a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. Sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Oh damn. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang named one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Damn. Royce is in charge now. And I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this ship's from one merit of the South of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Oh boy. Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Uh, that's not bad. First thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Ew, okay. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you can use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Send it in now. Klein, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. In the convo. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. 
yours truly will be remote. G-Bug ain't no people person, and Jack is only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is going to be all you. All right. Glory. Street cred. Performing certain actions will award you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in night in the night city other world. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Cool. Jack's to talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine. I'd like to want to check our pro cred. To me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. This is combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom collected. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums hmm. it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> on. There's one the other, other thing. thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Maelstrom or Parker? Well, that is where... Of course I can't save the game. God dang it. Okay. Alright. Here's how we're going to do this. Um, no, this is not how we're going to do this. Okay. Crap. I wanted to leave it up to you guys. Okay, shut up, Jackie. I'm trying to think. Uh, I was going to leave it up to you guys. Be all like, hey, let me know in the comment section what you want me to do, all of that. Um, but, seems that that's not going to happen. Um, I am thinking about after I beat the main story, which will probably be a very long time from now. Um, I'm thinking about doing... Or even while I'm doing the main story, like when I get really far into the story, I'm thinking about uh, doing a separate live stream, or doing a live stream type thing where you guys make the choices and I do the choices. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with this as well. Anyways, let's make the choice. Um, I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I live. In that case, I'll hit the off modes and put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego. See you later. All right, everybody. That is going to be the end of today's episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, join the notification, all of that shebang. And with that, this is May the Mage signing off. Good boy.